When I was growing up, I think the first time I started riding my bike more than just around the street was when I used to go to Rottnest Island in WA for holidays twice a year with my mum and my brother. And my mum used to always ride around the island and then I asked her if I could tag along one time. So I think I was only maybe five and I rode around the whole island and my mum always made it a really fun kind of activity so she wasn't pushing me and just made, made sure I really enjoyed it. What are your favourite things about racing? What I love about cycling and, and competition is that all the hard work that you've done day in, day out for months or years beforehand, you finally get to put it all out there, leave everything out there and um, you know all the early mornings, all the hard yards, they all just come out and you can forget about all of that and just line up and know you've done all the hard work and you finally get to show everyone and yourself what you're capable of. For the time you've been involved in the sport, what's your favourite cycling memory? The result I'm most proud of is probably winning the Team's Pursuit at the 2010 World Title, so with Ashley and Kudinoff and Sarah Kent. I won it with two very close friends. We were underdogs as well. For some reason at those World Championships it all just clicked and yeah to win with girls you know you've done every session for you know, two times a day with um, it's extremely satisfying to stand on the podium on top of the podium with them. What's the best bit of advice you've ever been given cycling related or non-cycling related? Any advice that Gary Sutton gives me, I really take on board. He's been a huge influence in not only my riding career, but just my life in general. You know, every day he says something that I just, you know, whether I'm having a good day or a bad day, I use it. And whatever he says, I try to listen to every, as much as possible and just take it all in because it's all very helpful. Now I've been part of the Team's Pursuit squad for, well, ever since it came out, really, so. I've done a fair few and Sato's made it quite clear that it's my job to kind of lead the newer or younger girls, so it is definitely an extremely nerve-wracking event. It was really special to race in front of a home crowd in Melbourne. I had my family there and so many friends in the crowd that it was, you know, one of the last opportunities before the Games to watch me race, so it was really cool knowing that and just being able to look up before you race and just have a friendly smile from my mum or whoever. It was the first time I've ever ridden in a team's pursuit where every lap you could just hear the crowd screaming at you. I've never been in that situation before so that was really, really cool. And to come away with a silver medal, I think we were quite satisfied. We did a three second PB the Brits still beat us so we know that we, we still have a second and a half to, to chase to if we want to beat them but we still do have improvements so I think that um, in that case that London is going to be a real battle.